All right, so we're back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. And uh, before starting off with our long journey of side content, um, I decided to start off first with this main mission story. And, you know, it's probably going to be very short and simple. So from what I can tell, Deke is actually going to show us a new room in the Room of Requirements that is going to be able to hold different types of beasts and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be cool, especially since I'm going to be exploring the world more in the upcoming episodes as well so uh yeah let's get right into it we could get like a freaking centaur in here deke ah deke is so happy to see you and deke noticed this bag in the room the other day you must need it to help with your schoolwork. deke has seen one of these before deke calls it a knapsack Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Right, so I assume this is going to be the Our new area. We'll be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can find Dee when you're ready to go. Uh, is this part of the okay so i think this is still part of the same mission i was gonna say that little bag that uh deke showed us is basically like a pokeball so i think it's like the british version of a pokeball you know so we're gonna be like ash catch him over here like gathering different beasts and stuff <laughs> all right so uh all right so yeah we can interact with him i don't think he's gonna show us the new room yet uh oh no wait hold on okay yeah i was gonna show you guys the room of requirements how i would built it off before i keep going I think it's looking pretty nice. You know, I have my uh, botanical garden over here, and I have my like my potions area as well. So there's that. And it's pretty cool knowing that this uh, you know room of requirements is gonna just keep growing. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I've been pretty uh, happy, um, you know, customizing it. I'd like to ask you about changing the rooms. Oh, I didn't want of to course. do that. Yeah. What sort of overall look most appeals to you? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, Actually, <laughs> I want to keep it like freaking dark emo. <laughs> I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. Yeah, this is like basically kidnapping animals at this point. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Wait, before we get started or continue, hold on. Let me actually change something. So since we're going to be capturing beasts, I actually want to... Which one should I do? Let's go with this one. I'm going to be equipping uh, the brush and the food. All right. There we go. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff schemes nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff scheme, and in it'll go. All right. all right all right so uh okay yeah it's already unlocked all right so yeah i'm gonna place it on top there we go what is it like freaking badges or something hold on where are you going yeah, it's a straight up pokeball you got one. puff skin wait 
No, I was gonna say, are we gonna be able to like breed the animals with like different uh like other not other animals, but it's not freaking animal crossing over here. But like just breed them to like create like new animals because something I noticed while exploring is that some of these animals have like the symbol of a female and a male. So maybe or unless you're just able to keep them, you know, like in the same area and stuff, you know what I'm talking about? Let me actually get this one too. Just in case. There we go. It's funny that they're saying rescued beasts, but <laughs> we're basically just kidnapping them from their habitat at this point. Let me see if I could brush them. Oh, you can't. Oh, you gotta tame them first. Okay. Yeah, let's just take all of these then. Might as well, right? It's like collecting a crap ton of ratatats when uh, Pokemon Go came out. I'm not going to hurt you. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Yeah, those aren't very uh, trusting words. They're getting smarter. I managed to rescue a puffskin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskins, and well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskin. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly, a jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. My bad, guys. I was drinking water. All right. Got to stay hydrated. You guys uh, also got to stay hydrated. So remember to uh, drink a gallon of water every day. Anyways, all right, let's go meet up with Deke real quick. How far is it? It's not that far. Well, there's some people over here flying uh, kites over here. That's pretty cool. All right, so this honestly opens up the possibility to be able to, like, tame Thestrials, uh, Griffin, not Griffins, what am I talking about? Um, Hippogriffs. I actually found a den of hippog Hippogriffs exploring the world a while back ago, which uh, was pretty cool. So I wonder if we're going to be able to get those as well. Because I already want to get one of my mounts, you know. I was promised an Onyx Hippogriff and it hasn't been delivered. 45 hours into the game already. <laughs> Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Oh, that's pretty smart. All right. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. I wonder who would win in a fight, a goblin or an elf? I want to see that happen, Loki. All right, so let's uh, pull one of these bad boys. There we go. Come on with me, bro. You bastard. You do cooperate, won't you? Uh, wait, hold on. There we go. Everything's all right now. We got a blue one. It's also a nice color. I like it. All right, I'm gonna try to get this one too. I like that color. No. You know what? I'm not gonna stop until I get it. Hold on. Deke is, Deke is gonna have to wait. Oh wait, did we die? We died. What? 
like a freaking one meter jump kills me when I've jumped from like freaking two stories. Jesus Christ. This is actually the first time I get, you know, or just die in general from like jumping from a place. Like what the heck? I didn't think it was possible to die. Like I've jumped from pretty high places before. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go from the start. I want to collect at least one more. Now we already. Oh, that one right there, right there. Uh. Arrest the yes, sir. Right, so we got two. Nice. Deke thinks you should be. I rescued a job and all. Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. I really wonder if, like, by them talking about, you know, capturing and collecting beasts, are we also going to be able to, like, capture, like, mongrels, like those wolf things? It would also be really freaking awesome if once we, like, tame one of them, since I assume you're going to be able to, uh, from what we also learned in beast class, um, you get to like have a companion next to you. I think that would be pretty cool too. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Honestly, how elves are being treated is really freaking sad, I'm not gonna lie. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Like the fact that these are like very powerful beings, yet, you know, they're being just made into house elves in a sense, you know, like servants. It's just very sad. I'm not going to lie. All right. So let me actually fast forward this real quick. Let me see if this works. Okay. Then, yeah, because sometimes I press it and it doesn't even turn to night. They should put rescue as in uh, quote unquote, you know. Oh, I remember these. I always wanted to collect one of these. All right, let's uh get a. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. No, you don't. Yeah, saying "oh no, you don't" doesn't really sound too much of a kindly rescue. You know what I mean? There we go. We're gonna try to get another one. There's a good group of them there. I don't want to kill them. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna stop because I. What gender is this? It's a female. Okay. Uh. Stop you in your tracks. No. Lumos. There we go. And let's get a, a male. I'm not sure if I got a male the first time around. That's why I want to make sure. Uh, can we actually look? What like? Is it inventory? Okay, we can. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we got a female and a male. Okay, okay, so we're good. Okay, so we could sell them. I thought we were rescuing them. We got female, male. Yeah, I'm going to try to, like, you know, capture at least two of each for the meantime. I don't think we need this one. So, yeah, I'm going to 
release it back into the wild. Yeah, that's fine. I wonder if there's going to be like rare beasts that we're, we're going to be able to capture. That would be pretty cool. Like unique colors or something. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Yeah, we should be able to teleport back there. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. What the hell did Dick do to my table and chair? Not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! What the hell? You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. This is actually pretty cool. Hold on, let me go inside. Holy crap, dude. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. If this is part of like just our main character's, you know, imagination that he's able to build this inside the room of requirement, the room of requirement is just made up of some powerful freaking magic at this point. I feel like I've said this earlier, but man, dude, the fact that you can literally create whatever you imagine or will it to be like is insane. All right, so we got to go back there. Wait. Are we still in Hogwarts or? Yeah, we're still, we're inside the castle. I was wondering why there's a marker over there. Um, let's see. So press to open. Okay. Oh, okay. What is this? Active beast species. Yeah, let's uh, add all of these. You throw them around. Why would we throw them around? Those things will eat almost anything, but their favorite meal is boggies. Uh, can we put this one too? I guess not. Oh, that's really sad that they only make noise until they die. We're basically creating our own private zoo. A fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. 
Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. This is really awesome. What is this? Magical beasts are nurtured and provide materials, magical properties, feed and be okay. Yeah, so that's how you tame them in a sense. Okay, let me actually try this. Oh wait, hold on. Rebellion. What am I doing? Uh, let's also release these as well. There we go. Nice. Uh, let's feed some of these real quick. Uh, let me brush them. How many can we brush at the same time? Uh, I think only one. <laughs> they have like little mohawks. Let me brush this guy real quick. So if I do this, they're going to drop some like materials, right? How do I know when they drop? Oh, I see. Why the fuck are we following it now? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's collect the, uh, or let's finish feeding this one. Uh, we brushed it. Let's feed it. Um, there we go. And let's get uh, some food in uh, one of these uh, jobbers. Finish uh, brushing it real quick. There we go. Nice. Lumos. Wait, I I thought I already collected puff skin for. Her. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, there we go. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. All right, so I'll probably come back later and just finish off feeding the rest of these. Um, let's go uh, check out the loom real quick. I think we're going to end up removing the, uh, the chair from there and maybe like switch it to this side. Wait, where's the loom? Oh, conjure. Okay, so uh, yeah, we got to conjure it. All right, let's uh, check this out. Let's uh, remove uh, this. This conjuring. Okay, there we go. All right, so where can we put the loom? Uh, let's try to put it maybe... Where's a good spot? Right here. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. Um. So it should be probably here. Utility? Yep. All right, so uh, let's see. What color should we get? Black, of course. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I was wondering how I was going to be able to equip, like, these, um, you know, um, 
uh, trait slots. Because I, I saw a bunch of, like, customers that they didn't have any, but I didn't know how to add them. So that's pretty cool. So that's how you're going to be at, uh, be able to add them. I don't think I want to waste any at the moment just yet. So maybe I'm just going to hold off until I get some, like, really good loot. So, uh, yeah, I might not use it. Maybe on this one. Hold on. Let me... No. Should I? Let's just try it. Why not? Um, let's see. Upgrade. Oh, so you could also upgrade the... Okay, so you could also upgrade the, the, the thing in general. Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh, we gotta add a trade. Hold on. Um, yeah, let's go with this one again. I think a level one Protego just for like practice. I'll put it on. Just for the meantime. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will. By rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. That's pretty cool. You know, I thought this was just going to be a very quick little uh, mission, but it turned out to be an almost like half an hour mission over here. So this is pretty awesome. Uh, we got our own very own Bavarium. We're going to be collecting a bunch of like different beasts and stuff. So so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for that as well. I'm going to go try it out on some uh, Thestrials and uh, Hippogriffs as well to see if we could capture some of those. Maybe if I encounter a centaur as well. Wait, centaurs are not beasts. They're, I think, considered, like, other races, if anything. But never mind. Forget, forget I said that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I had a question as well. Oh, I need to add that. So, is this the amount of beasts we could have in this location at once? Because if it is, then I think it's very, like, it's a low, it's a low amount, in a sense. We could collect a lot, but I think we could only, like, choose which ones we want. Protego. Also, before I end the video, I want to I wanna see this. Uh, so, I think it would be in challenges. No. Okay, so it might be an exploration. Maybe not. Okay. Um. Okay, right here. There we go. Could it be? Okay, yo, okay. So, uh, I believe we have... Spellcraft. Okay, so only if we rescue more beasts, I thought this was going to increase the room for the barbarium, but I assume it's not then. I think we're just going to be able to get more uh, conjuring tables and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. This was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I like this. I like how even 45 hours in, there's like new things that or we're finding out about this game. So I really like that a lot. But, uh, yeah, once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.